Hey y'all and welcome to Living After 50 with Tony Laverne. My name is Tony and here I simply discuss lifestyle after turning the big 5-0. You're special and you're reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. So guys, one of the biggest challenges I face being in my 50s is dressing. Because I want to dress age appropriate, but I don't want to look frumpy. And I want to incorporate some of the trends, but I don't want to look like I'm trying to be younger than what I am. Okay, so speaking of trendy, I saw uh, recently where combat boots or chunky boots, as they're called, are trending. And I thought, you know, why not try a pair? That would be something cool to have in my wardrobe just on days when I wanted to, you know, not wear heels and still be comfortable and maybe even cute in them. So I began my search. Uh, everybody makes these. Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci, Fendi, Chanel, you name it, they have them. So these boots can range. I think the most expensive pair I saw was a Louis Vuitton pair. No, Christian Louboutin. And they were over $2,000. And <laughs> your girl wasn't doing that. So I continued my search to find something in my budget because they range, like I said, from over $2,000. I found a pair at Target for as low as $35. So they fit in anybody's budget. But I, in my search, I came across uh, a pair by Mr. Michael Kors. Uh, these are called the Michael Kors Pascal Boots. Uh-oh. And what they look like, oops, <laughs> they are made of patent leather, which I thought was really cute. They uh, have the string up detail in the front with the grommets right here at the top. They have a cool zipper detailing that goes around the shoe. And they have somewhat of a stacked heel, so they're not completely flat, flat, meaning it gives me a little bit of height. And what I like mainly is probably going to be this zipper. That way, you don't have to unstring and string these up each time you put them on. You just zip them up, zip them down, stick your feet in, and keep it going. And these work for me. They are a little chunky, but they're not overwhelming. I did uh, order a pair of the Doc Martens, and I sent those back because they were just overwhelming on my small frame. So with that being said, I'm going to show you a couple of outfits that I put together with these boots, and I would appreciate if you guys let me know what you think, okay? Stay tuned. So guys, this first outfit looks like to me that I just stepped out of an episode of In Living Color. <laughs> the uh, tights and the little camo shirt, I got both of those items from Walmart. Don't be sleeping on Walmart. And the jacket came from H&M. Okay guys, here I am again. This time I'm wearing another oversized jacket along with my favorite denim cutoffs. Yes, I'm 50 and I wear denim cutoffs. I am also wearing a white tank that I think I got at Walmart and it's paired with the boots. Uh, I know the jacket sort of cuts me off when they're oversized like this, but I like the look and I believe in wearing whatever you feel good in. So with that being said, tell me, God, tell me what you guys think. The next item is another oversized jacket. This is a faux leather jacket that I received or I purchased from H&M and I'm wearing it with a pair of skinny jeans that I got at the loft some time ago and that same little white tank top that I got at Walmart. Very comfortable look. Uh, like I said, I know the oversized jackets don't really work on petite people, but I wear whatever I feel good in so it's comfortable. And I feel as long as what's under the jacket is fitted, you're good to go. In this look, I did a little dress that I purchased during the summer from Zara. Haven't worn it because I haven't been anywhere to wear it because of quarantine. 
Uh, I paired it with a suede jacket that I bought last year. It's like a moto jacket. I bought this last year from uh, Marshalls and I sort of like that. The last look is a dress that I purchased at H&M. I believe this dress was $17. H&M has a collaboration with Kango. I'm sure all you 80s people or kids remember the brand Kango. The dress has a slit on each side, which allows the boots to be shown. The dress also features long sleeves and a mock neck, and it has the white Kango symbol in the middle of the dress. Special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back